Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Fairly Odd Rabbits. Today we're going to be unboxing the new DVD organizer thing that I got. It's been a long time, but I am tired of having bookcases, literally more than one bookcase. What you can see right there, there are three levels to that bookcase right there. Let's see if I can tilt it a little. And not only are they three levels, but they're too thick. So whatever you see on that top shelf, there's a whole nother row behind it of DVDs. And that's not even my only bookcase of DVDs. There's another one over there with the exact same problem going on. I have over 600 DVDs. Something needs to happen. I'm tired of bookshelves, like just full of them. So I am converting everything into a new system. I've tried it once before with a different one. I didn't really like it. So I ended up getting my cases back and, and just a big fiasco. So now my problem is I didn't come over here with a knife. I really need to stop doing that. I wonder if nail clippers, no. What happened to my, okay, how about my key of doom for, well, they really overtaped this. I ended up buying this, did I get this on Amazon or did I get this on eBay? I think I got this on Amazon. Yeah, I did get it on Amazon. It's the little slip cases that I got on eBay. And they're going to take forever. I might as well just got them on the Wish app. Why have you done this to me? I'm sensing this is going to be difficult to unbox. Why? Why? Oh my god. This is crazy. This is also upside down. Really push. I don't think it matters. Maybe it does. I don't know. Yay. We broke into some of it. Maybe it is the right way up. Because it does have my order. I paid $53.99 for the case for 110 slots. And about $9.49 for shipping. It ends up being about the same price no matter where you go. That was a fairly decent deal. I did want a large sturdy box. I also wanted to make it easy to remove a DVD you want to take on a trip with you or something. And I am going to be alphabetizing them. That's going to be super fun. Oh, look, another box to open. Why? How many boxes do you need to seal this thing in? Why couldn't you have shipped it in this white box, the first box? Why is my nose itchy all of a sudden? But these people had cats. Ugh. All right, we're finally getting down in one really thin layer of bubble wrap. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so I guess you could consider this as being kind of like those metal makeup cases. I guess that's what I would classify it as being like. All right, we're getting here. Woo, bubble wrap. Okay, so here is my new DVD box. I am going to convert all the DVDs in my apartment into one box. Wow, that's so cool. Here's the inside and it has dividers here to try to keep it. Ooh, you're not aligned very well. I hope you work. Okay, I am excited that there are some of these little, um, things so that I can get started. Oh, I might kind of have to use these special ones instead of the ones that, ooh, silica gel almost fell out onto the floor. That would have been tragic for my babies. My poor little fur babies. Okay, so I do like these ones that came with it. It has a number and they kind of just, I don't know if I, you guys can see this, but they kind of just slide on the rail here. So I can number them. I don't know why 29 and 30. Okay, I don't like that though. I like that you can hang them, but what I don't like is that it's supposed to have two DVDs per sleeve. I want one DVD per sleeve. So there are pros and cons to this. I don't know guys, I don't know. Okay, this one is 1 through 170. But the problem being... 
this is one and two. I don't like that. But I do like that there's a little index sheet. That's kind of cool. Now let's jump up to 30 because I have 29 and 30 here. I guess I have two 29s and 30s. There's just an extra one floating around in here. Okay. That's okay with me. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Meanwhile, while I'm figuring that out, I'm going to close it. I also ordered on Amazon this thing. Yes, Benary. Yes. Come here. Now, you want me to pick you up and then you run away? Okay. So I got these on Amazon as well. And they are A to Z little things to put in so I can divide them because I do want to do these alphabetically. Let's see. Are you going to fit? Yay, they fit. And they will stick up, but that's okay because there's a little space up there too. So it'll be perfect. Yay. I'm excited. This is going to take so long, you guys. Even if I start with them. See, and I ordered more little thingies, like little cases, but they don't have these cool metal tops that you can stick in here. I need more with this little metal bar because I only want one disc per thing. I, I would want two discs if it was a CD, like a DVD and a bonus features. That I wouldn't mind. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Have you thought of redoing your DVD collection at all? I've done it several different ways. I used to have like the big book and you flip through and you like slide the DVDs and I hated that. Yeah, you could see them by flipping through, but it was always awkward to take it out and they always ended up getting scratched more that way. So that's why I hated it. This way, if I wanted to like, oh, I'll take this DVD and this DVD and I don't have to take them out of the thing. I'll just take them with me. And if I go on a trip, I'll just keep them in the thing. And then when I get back, just put them back in. So I like the idea of that. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I have also done the bookcase thing. Not so great. I've also punched holes on the wall with thumbtacks and hung them on the wall. It was kind of decorative and fun. They got super scratched doing that. We mostly do that with my I Love Lucy DVDs. <laughs> fun times in college, yeah. Anyways, let me know what you think. Don't forget to uh, comment down below, subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.